Hey there. It's been a minute since our last video, but this latest project really brings together a lot of old threads. We analyze video using object detection and tracking, as well as body keypoint estimation and LSTM classifiers. We even get to experiment further with GANs. We brought all these ideas together in our latest project to explore Kaggle's deep fake detection challenge. Major tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft partner to sponsor a contest hosted by Kaggle, mobilizing machine learning talent to tackle the challenge of identifying synthetically generated content to combat the spread of misinformation. With $1 million in prizes and nearly half a terabyte of samples to train on, this contest requires the development of models that can be deployed to identify deepfakes. The contest submission must finish processing 4,000 test videos in under 9 hours which requires an average time under 8 seconds per 10 second video. Although these deepfakes can involve faked audio, most deepfake samples manipulate a subject's face, and so many contestants concentrate their efforts on developing face detection pipelines and applying deep learning to the classification task. After reviewing some of the data samples, our intuition was guided by the observation that temporal inconsistencies make deepfakes discernible during manual review. We want to exploit a weakness in the making of deepfakes, Specifically, these methods often don't explicitly enforce a temporal smoothness constraint. That is why we were especially interested in a video analytics pipeline which detects and tracks faces to construct feature descriptors over time for a sequential model. Face embeddings like FaceNet are designed to relate spatial similarity through distance in a low-dimensional embedding space. And so, we expect face crops from video to cluster in this space. We used a fixed embedding to limit the capacity of the model to overfit to the individuals represented in the training data. We train LSTMs to differentiate a sequence of smoothly embedded faces from video and those which indicate the use of deepfake techniques. Initially, we were motivated by our work with Action AI to also include facial key points. Our first models performed quite well by concatenating a face embedding vector with a facial key point encoding vector. However, we had to abandon this approach due to the computational burden. This kernel shows how we can skip frames and apply object tracking to quickly pre-process the data. Essentially, we have a long-term recurrent convolutional network with a face embedding as a fixed feature extractor. We use small LSTM architectures to avoid overfitting, which are fast enough to run in a browser so we can implement a plugin for maximum impact. Ultimately, one of the main challenges was simply to identify all the faces from video. This is challenging because of the variable video quality as well as the framing of the subjects. To overcome this, we introduced the pose estimation model into our video analytics pipeline. This helped us to reduce the search space for faces while providing additional context used to filter spurious detections. Check out this demo run on PBS Nova special on deepfakes. Smell you later.